Yo, what's up guys? Luke here and we're here to talk about the NRL All-Star Game. It's crazy to think the 2019 season is already just around the corner. In fact, it's so close that the All-Star teams have been announced. But before we talk about who's playing, I just want to talk about the actual game itself. Now, the All-Star Game, it's been away for a few years and I gotta say, didn't really miss it. I gotta admit, there was a few years where I didn't even watch it. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what the previous All-Stars game was, it was the Indigenous All-Stars up against the NRL All-Stars. Now, in theory, that sounds great. That sounds incredible. I love the NBA version of the All-Star game. Why wouldn't I love the version of the NRL All-Star game? The problem was the NRL All-Stars team. To put it bluntly, I don't think anybody actually gave a shit in the NRL All-Stars team. Now, for the people in the Indigenous team, that was great. That was incredible. It was a big thing for them. There was a lot of pride in that team. But that also made it a lot worse for the NRL All-Star team. It seemed like for the players, playing for the NRL All-Star team was more of a pain in the ass than anything. This was their first game of the season and they're taking on a fired up indigenous side. It's just the risk of injury, plus they don't really care. There's nothing really to play for. There was just no point of playing it for the NRL All-Stars team. And it's not like the NBA where, you know, being an All-Star player is like a huge deal. You can get more money. Like if you're in the All-Stars team in the NRL, like who really cared? Oh my God, who the hell cares like i said earlier though the indigenous team it meant a lot for them and it was disappointing for them that the game disappeared which is why i think it's great that the maori people also get a chance it's maori up against indigenous i think it's a great concept it kind of feels like there's a bit more purpose of the game it'll be nice to have a hundred percent of the participants in it actually giving a shit about the game and because we've got both teams actually caring about the game i would like to think that the quality of the game will actually be a lot better now, I'm not going to go through both teams' lineups, I'm not going to go through all the players, but I will mention that this is the first time we get to see players like Kalen Ponger and Ben Barber's back in the NRL. Uh, we get to see Dane Gagai, we get to see a fair few big name players. But Trail Mitchell's even picked to represent the Indigenous side over playing in the World Club Challenge for the Roosters. That's how much it means to him. What I do think is a really cool aspect to this game is the fact that we're going to see Australia, New Zealand, Tongan internationals even um, playing on the same team. Now that happens every week in the NRL, but this is a representative game, so it's different. I just think it's cool that we have Queensland representatives, Kalen Ponga and Dane Gagai playing for the New Zealand Maori team. And for the Indigenous side, I know he's played for New South Wales in Australia in the past, but he's a current Tongan representative, Andrew Feeder. I think it's great that he's playing for the Indigenous side. I don't know, maybe you guys don't really care about that, but it's just something that I think's cool. Now in the past, I might not have watched all of the NRL All-Stars games, but I sure as hell will be watching this one. I'm intrigued to see who will win. I honestly don't know who will win. Looking at both the lineups, they're both pretty strong. There's no like obvious winner there's no real standout team it's just it's a going to be a very competitive game i think leave in the comment section below who do you think is going to pick up the w in this game if i had to pick a winner i'd probably go for the new zealand mary team just due to the fact that a large majority of the team is the new zealand team um obviously it's not all of it but then you're adding kalen pong and dan gagai um I just think they'll have a lot more cohesion. But hey, who knows? The Indigenous team could surprise us. Anyway, guys, that is the end of the video. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and also on Snapchat. It's on the screen right now. Mr. Luke on White Tea. Facebook is there as well. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.